Well, one owner car guy, and we're going out here to go check out a couple things that need to be done. Nice little 190 there. I got lots of cool cars I'm getting rid of, like this thing. I'm getting rid of it. I'm, I hate to take it apart, but I think I'm gonna. This one we just did a video on. Uh, we're going to this motorhome, right? I'm gonna get the video on this one here today, hopefully. Hopefully this one's done today. Uh, Buick Roadmaster Limited. Limited! That's why I like doing them not in the sunlight, because I don't get that split level type thing. I'll wholesale that out cheap. I'll wholesale that out cheap. In fact, YouTube special right now with the Euro lights and everything. Call me up. Export out of California. I'll take $1,500. bucks. Fourteen ninety nine just to make it a buck cheaper for you. The full review of my channel. Sobs on it. Somebody interested? I got to get rid of it. I am partial to it. But same thing. Give me $1,500. bucks. It's yours. Um, okay. Ooh, this one. This thing's in great shape. My guys asked me if I wanted to replace anything on the seats because of this. Oh, that's what they wanted me to see. My guy can sew stuff like amazingly and doing restorations. It's like, oh, let me fix this for you and this and this one he ain't gonna fix. You're gonna have to replace that whole piece right there. So to pull this out and do it, you know, 150 bucks or so, maybe two. Yeah, this is what it was. A couple slices here. Yeah. I'm going to leave it. It's in great shape. It's all original. I don't like to change things, hide things. You can do it if you want. 150 to 200 bucks. My guy replaced this piece, this piece, that piece, and the other piece. Make it beautiful. God, I love these in red. Is there any other better color than red? I think not. Look at these seats. And that's why they were asking if I wanted to replace them, is because the fronts are just in such amazing shape that it makes you want to redo things when they're this clean. These Cherokees Wagoneers last. And that, I was going to replace that, but just to match it, I mean, I might as well just wait. Do it all at one time. Where did it get it at? <clears throat> Auction. It is a G20. I'm going to do it before and after this one, before we detail. Let's make sure that this is one we do. A lot of cool things we do, just kind of making them ready. Um, I'm going to show this thing from start to finish. And here's your start when it just came in. And I'll go ahead and look. Where's the damage? They smacked my motorhome. As you see on my channel, they have a way of smacking my stuff around. Oh, my! They smashed the whole side in. That is not cool. That is just so not cool of them. And you know, anything's fixable. Take it apart, start bending and shaping. And I got a guy that's done metal work and stuff all his life, and he's good at that type of thing. And it didn't get into bending the back too much, which I was just checking some angles here. And it's, it's all good here. It's gonna come out really nice. You hardly ever know the difference, unless you're the guy that just looked. But man, that sucks. That makes me mad. Raise too much of a stink, though. One piece of fiberglass, baby. Glad none of it shattered. I'm gonna have to get it back. It should pop right back in shape, though. It's got a generator on this one? No, it's a baby one, huh? Look at the inside. This is what gets me is when they mess up. A, it's a lazy days, that's right. That's what gets me when they mess up a beautiful rig like this non-leaking one-piece fiberglass oh man look at this bad boy when i seen this thing i just had to have it it's like got this whole family room type setting back here family room back here huh trent yep Pulls out two beds. using the real eco toilet friendly stuff oh that's closed that makes it look even bigger man awesome I love these. The lazy days. God, this just makes me want to go somewhere. I want to go somewhere. Get out of here. I don't even know if we got a battery in it, but you know me, I'm gonna give it a shot here. No battery. 28 and I'm pretty dang sure they're all original. 
refrigerator 12 volt. Huh? Is there a generator on it? Did you look? No, there ain't. 84, I believe. And it's gonna look really nice when we're done with it. Well, there's that. And um, just kind of walking around, doing a video of stuff that a guy normally does. Um, had a, got the hydraulics to spend my 6.9. Finally got it up, got everything going. Had some lines to mess with. They smashed at the auction. There you go again. Hi guys. Hi guys. Little beagles. If you need beagles, we got a couple. I think there's three left. Arf. Hey buddy. I'll come see you in a second. Big old stinking six nine man. Woo buddy, I love these. Euro model, by the way, too, with the Euro bumpers and the lights and the cloth interior. That's in pretty dang good shape. Well, there's your 6.9. God, I like these cars. Nothing drives like one of these 6.9s. Beamer, you already seen that. Okay, so into the back. What else was he looking at? This? Oh, that's right. The caps don't fit. Caps don't fit. We got the beauty rings to go around them, but the caps, they're not drilled for them. Must be a stalker, a stalker G20. Not a stalker G20. Our G20s don't do stalking and hang out at bowling alleys. This one's coming up. Hopefully tonight, um, I'm thinking. God, I like yellow. I want to paint this. I just want to paint it. It's just... See, they put that new piece on there. And there was a couple scratches on this. Yeah, the clear coat coming off. I might have shown this in another video. There's only 130 on it. And it's got a new tranny. Um, nice car. I do like 7 Series Beamers. Um, cheap, nice cars. The Blazer got a cool video of this with um, Corvair Wild. We, he was here for the day and uh, we did a review of it because uh, it's just kind of an odd deal. He actually did one on his channel too and I got one on my channel that I'm going to upload here probably today. Sorry, I was taking some pictures there. That is with both of us going over the car. Now I might have shown you this a while back. It's a Toyota Corolla? Yeah, Corolla. Don't don't quote me on it. I don't know what these little stinking import cars are, unless they're a Mercedes or a Beamer. But very clean car. As you can tell, buffed out very nice. Just a nice quick buff. And we did the quick update on the bumpers. Oh, a guy gave me a tip on that, and now I'm trying to remember what it is. I'm gonna have to look back and see. Ha! Huh. Something he told me to do to him. Clean little car. 52 or 45,000 I think there was on this one. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 45,000 original miles. Nice and clean. Well, that's kind of your, your walk around, walk around. And gonna get some more of this stuff going. Just thought I'd upload a, a quick around. A quick around to where you can see some stuff that we're doing. And I'll get my update done here in the next couple days. You'll see a couple cars in between, but I'm gonna upload some more of these walk around type videos and just kinda project by project type thing as we go. So thanks for watching. I'm gonna go say hi to the puppies and get some cars pictured. We'll talk to you.